Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. We have terrific scenes in front of us at the Estadio dos Regal one of the biggest venues in Portugal. And we rise now for the Spanish national anthem. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. Plenty looking forward to seeing this, a capacity crowd here. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction and hopefully the style of contest. So it's away we go then. So Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Jorginho. The kind of player that can pass a team to death. At first, a lot of his passes seem a little safe and conservative, but they all serve a, a bigger purpose, slowly shifting the opposition from side to side. Once there is that little bit of space to work in, then the killer instinct usually kicks in and he's able to deliver that decisive pass. He would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. Now it's Morata. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Chiesa. Jorginho. Brings it over to the other flank. And the ball, Chiesa! Superb goal! What a start, and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. The purest possible contact. What a fabulous strike. Well, the technique generates the power in that situation, and once power is assured, any goalkeeper's up against it. Spain trail at this early stage. How will they respond? Fabian Ruiz. They've managed to get it away. Pellegrini with a good steal. Well played. Uh, 
And it's played forward. Italy have hit the front early, a foothold in the game. Well, they've managed to get their noses in front early because they've been much quicker out of the stalls. They've set a high tempo and intensity and look as though they, they want it much more at the moment. That's beautiful, intricate passing. They are toying with their opponents. Well, they know that their version of what they do is extremely good. I mean, it's a level of possession that leaves the opposition chasing shadows. Fabian Ruiz. Oh, he's in! That's a pop! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Nice touch. to switch the play. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Hoists it forward. minutes till half time Italy scored early of course and the score is 1-0 Fabian Ruiz Nacho tries to get it forward quickly cuts it out Goes long, Chiesa. Chiesa plays it in. Played out to the right, played back, has a hit! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Morata is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Rotri. Jorginho. goes for half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but like it still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance mm. and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. Italy come in, having established that lead, a game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. We are already promptly back on the way. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Fabian Ruiz. Fabian Ruiz goes looking. Out to the right. Rodri. Is there any support? He might not need it. The referee's awarded a free kick. 
Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. There could be trouble here, but for now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. He's trying the shot. They've played it short. Nicely controlled. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Rodri. Here's Morata. Morata. It's Morata! Oh, that's a fine save! Morata really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. And that has been cleared. Jorginho. So still just a goal between them. Italy make it a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front, and this is something different. Sixty minutes played. Your impression so far, Jim? They're ahead, but they're not playing as if they are. There seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all gone a little timid. <laughs> and he just whacks it away. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be done. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. Leave it clear. Morata. Nacho drives it forward. That's surely a foul free kick. Jorginho gets it away. Finds himself eased off the ball. Timely intervention. Across the field it goes. Good idea, just poorly executed. Fabian Ruiz. That'll be a throw.
Chiesa. Italy are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. Fabian Ruiz. Pellegrini. Italy are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Forward it goes. Italy still ahead by the game's only goal. And the shot! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. That's not going far. Spain don't have many options and time is running out. Almost there and the players can feel it. Fabian Ruiz. Had a shot. A oh, great save, real class. Fabian Ruiz sparked a tremendous stop there and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Time added on will be two minutes. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. And that is it, the referee has seen enough. Italy, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Well, Peter, I'm sure a more comfortable margin would have been preferable, but you can't expect to get your way all the time. I think it was a win earned through getting...